In this video, you'll learn how you can make your PHP code safer and more reliable by using strict type checking. PHP is dynamically typed. This means variables don't have fixed types. You can assign an integer, then a string, then a float value to the same variable, and PHP won't throw an error when you do this. PHP is also loosely typed. This means that it will automatically convert values from one type to another when needed, often without you asking for it. For example, let's say we have a variable containing an integer, and one containing a string. The string contains integer digits, but it is a string and not a number. This is referred to as a numeric string. If we add these two together, the string value is converted into an integer automatically. The result is the integer value 15. This is known as type juggling. While this might make PHP flexible and beginner friendly, it can lead to unexpected results. Let's look at another example. Here we have a function called toggle setting that has an argument called enabled. In the body of the function, it uses the ternary operator to print out a message based on the value of this argument. I've included a line break element at the end of each message, so it's shown on a new line in a browser. So if we call this function with boolean true, the first string is output. If we call this with boolean false, the second message is output. However, we can pass a value of any type to this function. So if we pass the integer value 1 to this, this is type juggled to become boolean true. If we pass integer 0 to this, this is the equivalent of boolean false. This is where it gets unpredictable. A value of integer minus 1 is actually equivalent to boolean true. Likewise, a string containing the word false is also taken to be true. There's a list in the official documentation of the implicit type conversions that will occur when doing this. This behaviour could lead to unpredictable results and hard to find bugs. We can turn this off by enabling strict type checking. First, let's add a type declaration to the function argument, specifying that it needs to be a boolean value. Just for completeness, Let's specify that this function isn't going to return anything, so we'll put the void return type. Doing this alone doesn't make any difference in this case, so if I run the code again, we get the same output. To enable strict type checking, at the top of the script we add a declare construct, setting the value of the strict types directive to 1. Note that this has to be the first line of code in the script, no other code can come before this. While the declare construct and strict types directive are case insensitive, it's common practice to specify them in lowercase. Also note that although you might see this statement on the same line as the opening PHP tag, this is not recommended by the PSR12 coding style guidelines. The only exception to code before this line is a file level doc block, although this is optional. Now when we run this, the third call to this function throws a type error, with the error message saying that the first argument must be a boolean, but an integer was supplied instead. So enabling strict type checking and adding type declarations disables automatic type conversion. Instead of silently converting types, PHP will throw a type error, making the code more predictable and secure. Type declarations can be added to function arguments, return values, class properties and class constants. Every built-in type can be used in a type declaration, apart from the resource type, along with interfaces and classes. As we just saw, strict type checking is disabled by default. To enable it, we add this declaration to the top of a file. However, this only affects calls from the file that contains this declaration. 
let's have a look at another example to see how this works. Here we have a class called Settings Manager. It contains one public method with an integer argument. In the body of the method, we just output a string to show what value the method was called with. Note, there's no strict types declaration in here. In this example 3.php script, we're requiring the file that contains the class definition, creating an object of that class, and calling the setLevel method with an integer argument. If I run this, it works, and we get the output from the method call. However, as strict type checking isn't enabled, I can call this method with values that aren't integers, such as a numeric string and even a boolean value. When the code runs, PHP will convert these values to integers. Let's say we don't want this behaviour, so let's add the strict types declaration to the class file. Now when I run this, nothing has changed. It still works with no errors thrown. While it might seem that adding the strict types declaration to the class file will enable strict type checking within that file, that's not how this works. Strict types are enforced based on where function and method calls are made, not where they're defined. So let's add the strict types declaration to the example 3 file, which is where we're calling the method in the class. Now when we run this, we get the type error for the second method call. So be aware that enabling strict types is not a global setting. It only applies to calls from the file where it's declared. Strict type checking in PHP makes your code more predictable and therefore easier to debug and maintain. I recommend you enable it in every script, as doing so ensures safer, more reliable code. Many thanks for supporting my channel, and as always, thank you for watching.